before the fight and stuff like that, you were battling a lot. Uh, it seems like your your grandpa's sick, um, and things like that are going on at home. I think your house caught on fire or something like that. Yeah, my house caught on fire as soon as I was in um hopped on a plane in Paris to get um head to Abu Dhabi. I got the call that my house just burst into flames, old wiring in the house. Um, uh, but it was normally me and my granddad stayed at the house. But he had to go to the hospital because he just wasn't doing so well, whatever. And then that's when I got the call from my mom and everybody else letting me know that my granddad only got like six months to live or less. So, um, you know, it was like a lot of stuff. And then my wrestling coach, he got brain cancer. Uh, you know, and I also went through a lot, you know, with, you know, just dealing with a lot of BS. So, you know, I was able to just, you know, say fuck it. Just, you know, Rock out with and then just fight. Yeah. And I want to know, like, how you're dealing mentally with all that stuff, because it's actually impressive, in my opinion. Like, I want to know how you are um, battling a lot of these things, like, mentally and stuff like that. Like, what are you doing on a daily basis? Because this is stuff that can consume a lot of people, you know, and you went out there and you got a victory, traveled across the across the world to Abu Dhabi. Honestly, bro, like, you forever, for real, bro. You just got to put it in your back pocket. It's just like when you, even when you go through a divorce or a breakup or you get fired from your job or you don't got no money in your pocket. Sometimes you got to just say fuck it and keep pushing forward. Something bound to happen or something might fall out the sky. You know, like I tell everybody, you know, you know, praise to Allah, you know, for always like making sure shit's straight with me. You know, and like I say, I still got my family at the end of the day. So that's the main thing. Like I wasn't really stressed. You know, it would have fucked me up even more if my pops was in the house, caught on fire and he died. But like I said, bro, I still got my family, you know what I'm saying? I still got my family from my mother of my kids' side, but Casey and then my other kids, Naona and Demario and shit. Yeah. Um, so I got to tell everybody, bro, I'm just glad I got my family on both sides of my face. My mom, my uncle, pop, you know what I mean? So I ain't really worried about it too much. But um, like I said, bro, I just got, you know, it's just, I just got everybody. So I'm straight. You know, the only thing it is now is just, you know, getting big fat checks, you know. Dana White want to cut me for the 100K check, you know, one time for the one time. I take it too. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to get these dubs and let them checks rack up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The money will come, right? As long as you keep winning. Money will come as long as you win. Get yeah. more money to come when I get a knockout. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Get a good knockout in the next fight, huh? Oh, I have to, man. You yeah. feel me? You know, I thought I was going to do it on Dennis, but the rest of the was real tough. He's yeah, he's bad. a tough guy. Um, yeah. And then with your family and stuff like that, like, do you talk to them on a daily basis or how do they keep you grounded? Just for people who are listening, who might be struggling, going through stuff too. Oh, uh, so, you know, I'm going to be real. If you're struggling or going through something with your family, house burned down, whatever the case, lost parents, family member and all that and stuff, yo. The only thing I tell a lot of people, bro, you still got to remember the bigger picture, like, it's life. It's going to happen. It's just that sometimes you got to just be ready for it. But everybody ain't ready for it when it hits the fan. So that's why I tell a lot of people, you know, if shit hit the fan, is you really going to stay down? Because when stuff starts crumbling, a lot of people get scared and mentally and physically, they just check out. You know, it might stress them out, anger them out, piss them off, something like that. But... At the end of the day, bro, it's life. Like it's, it's a revolving door. It's a cycle. And we all just got to get used to it. And all the way I got used to it was just realizing I still got my family. Everything is replaceable, you know, with money, of course. But losing a family member, losing somebody, yeah, sometimes that ain't, you know, replaceable. But sometimes you do got to just might fuck me for a couple of days or my name will fuck with me because I've been through, like, a lot of shit and seen a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? So... I just tell everybody, bro, move forward. Like, don't, don't drink your problems or smoke or pop pills to make the feeling go away. That shit ain't gonna never go away. It's just that you gotta know how to be happy about the situation. Maybe it's for a reason. Maybe this is the reason. Maybe it's this, this. So, you know what I'm saying? If you can, you know, go back and replace it, cool. Do it. You feel what I'm saying? But some things are aren't irreplaceable. So some things you just gotta be like, fuck it. Life goes on. Let me do what I need to do. You know what I mean? And just, just move forward. Right. You got to have that strong mindset. You can't let the things kind of get to you and then be like, oh, shit's not meant for me. You got to keep thinking about the positive, right? And just put that negative stuff in the back burner. Think about what you can do for your family and things like that. Yeah. And, uh, all, I, all I would give you 
Facts. Allah wouldn't give you anything you couldn't handle. So even when it's time to be put in your hands, he told you, I couldn't give you anything you couldn't handle. But when it's time for you to be put in your hands, you still got to handle it. So even if your house, somebody passed away, your bills ain't paid, you stressed out, guess what? At the end of the day, you still got to figure out a way to handle it. But a lot of people got a weak mind and they were revert to, you know, popping pills, snorting, becoming a junkie. Then at that point, your bills, everything, all, nobody want to fuck with you because you're still, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you become, you know, you become what the world wants you to become, which is a bomb. Because you, you, you gave up. Yeah, that's facts, man. You just got to sit with the pain, right? You kind of got to let it pass. You can't, you can't take that shortcut and then start like doing drugs. And I mean, you can smoke a little weed, do whatever you want, I guess. But yeah, to no, drink you your problems you away is a different story and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but when you abuse it, that's when it's going to abuse you in different types of ways. You know what I'm saying? You know, recipes to a lot of people, they like dealt with, you know, the depression or shit like that because you feel me? Everybody go through shit, you know what I mean? Everybody. So I respect everybody that went through and fought it. You know, the ones that, you know, you know, fought it but couldn't beat it. You know, still respect to the day too. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, though, it's all, it, it's really all about like how you just deal with the situation. Like everybody want to play tough, hard ass, or you're not tough. Everybody is is not bulletproof. Your armor will break sooner or later. And if it don't break, guess what? Something's gonna eventually blow your ass out the water and make that shit go away. So that's what a lot of people, bro. Just keep a mentality of you just. Stand focused, stand out the way. You know, when life situation hit, that doesn't mean be more in the spotlight. Start working under that spotlight, get where you need to be. And then at the end of the day, you get rewarded. Yeah. And you didn't, I mean, you've been mentioning it like on other terms, but you didn't directly credit it. I'm kind of curious too, though, with your spirituality and stuff like that, is that kind of help you keep balance too? Because you keep mentioning Allah and obviously having a higher power to kind of like look up to or speak to in a way probably helps. Out. Yeah, you know, I tell everybody, bro, whatever you believe in, if you believe in karma, if you believe in anything like this, yo, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, hold on real quick. Yeah, it, they yeah. Going yeah, they got you going the other way. Yo. You, It's a U-turn. It's like literally right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, I was about to say. <laughs> no, no, it's literally like right next from, uh, what's this? Um, Pet Boys. My bad, y'all. You good. But like I tell everybody, but like whatever you believe in spiritually, bro, like Allah, you know, whatever. I read the Qurans. Everybody got a different beliefs. You know, everybody, you know, got their different talks and opinion. That is a cult that is dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, okay. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I'm, I, I guess I'm the Christian you. cult. <laughs> but no. Nah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Plan. Like, but everybody believe in God. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or believe in some type of a higher being. So you got the type of spirit of some type of thing to somebody, whatever it might be. So I just tell everybody, man, just respect, because guess what? A lot of people, it's a true fact. Everybody that you went to school with don't always make it. Some dead, some in prison for life. And I've seen that shit unfold so many times. Even if I'm at this level that, you know, people call it fame and all that shit. Like, I love the title that I got because I worked my ass off. But I'm not going to stop working my ass off because of the title. I tell a lot of people like this, bro, it's, it's simple like this, like, how quick you can get it, how quick it can disappear. Same thing how life is. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So to a lot of people, man, um, just cherish it. You know, whatever all I gave you, cherish it. Whatever way, whatever route you got to get things, cherish it. Good you or know, bad, right? All, yeah, good or bad. And like I tell everybody, I don't condone what everybody do. You know what I'm saying? But if you got to find a way to make your money legally or illegally, hey, I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know anybody's stories about anything. That's facts. So, you know what I'm saying? So I just tell everybody, whatever you believe in, you know, Allah, God, Jesus Christ, you know, Buddha, all that, whatever it's called. Like, you got to remember, bro, you got to pay respects at all that because even when it gets hard, bro, shit, I be talking to myself in my head, and guess what? The bridge. I got to do what I got to do sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I like put those, I like put those blockages in your waist. You're going to break down or you're going to go around and find a way to get over it.